The NBA turning into a big man's league again? Over the last couple of seasons or so, it really has become a topic of discussion about is the league becoming a big man's league again, especially now with Jokic winning the finals and finals MVP, and obviously he is a big man. And we know Jokic is a very unique talent, like we know he's one of the best point forwards, point centers actually, that there is in the league. So if three players came in the next draft at Steph Curry's size and dominated the league like he did, he's not the fastest, he's not the quickest, but he is highly skilled and he does so many little things on the court. Rebounding, of course, he's really good at. Passing, we know he's really good at. And he can actually score when he wants to. Then you have Giannis who won finals MVP and a champion in 2021. And we know Giannis is like 6'11". And Joel Embiid just won the MVP and he's seven feet, but he could shoot threes and stuff like that. So is it becoming a big man's league again? My answer is yes and no. Let me explain with the real life example first. So what do we know is always shifting? Fashion. We know that the fashion today is different from the 2010s and the 2000s and the 90s and the 80s. Every decade, there is different fashion. Probably less than even decades, but you know what I mean. So with anything in the world, there are shifts that are always happening. So we know we had, you know, Kareem dominating, and then we had, obviously, Shaq dominating in the 2000s. And then now you have Steph Curry, you know, in the 2010s, 2020s, early 2020s, I guess, because, you know, we're in 2023. <laughs> who has been one of the most dominant players, but he is only 6'3", compared to Jokic, who was like seven feet. And you saw it, Steph Curry is one of the players who revolutionized the game because it became a three-point shooting league and everybody, even the big men, had to learn how to shoot threes, or at least they were trying to. And they were trying to shoot them because you had to be able to keep up with the Warriors because they would make so many threes with Steph and Clay while also playing good defense and doing other things. But like when you had a backcourt of Steph and Clay. It was like, we gotta shoot threes. So what is the point to everything I'm saying? I think this has been a gradual shift since like the 2010s maybe. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but like, not just big men, but like the league has shifted towards more like six, eight wing players who can do multiple things, defend, can score, can shoot. Like the prototypical, like ideal player nowadays is someone who's six, eight, with long arms, who's fast, athletic, but can shoot and also play defense, you know, like a Paul George type and stuff like that, that's kind of where the league has gone. So what I mean by that is, I think players overall, for the most part, have gotten bigger in a lot of ways. Maybe not in the center position, they haven't gotten bigger because like, they're generally the same height, but like, I feel like wing position, shooting guards and stuff like that, you have six, seven shooting guards. Clay Thompson is six, 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 seven. So I feel like overall players in general have just gotten bigger, faster, stronger, because obviously that's what has been trending. So you know, nowadays, if you could have a player who can do what Steph Curry does, obviously no one can shoot like him and no one can be Steph Curry, but I'm just using him as an example but can be Steph Curry, but be 6'7 at it. So now he's even taller. So now, you know, it comes with the added bonus of height. Cause obviously height is, you know, a thing in the NBA. You have to be tall to play in the NBA. So that's kind of where I guess, you know, executives and general managers and just scouts are looking at. Cause they're like, can this guy, can this man, can this player, you know, shoot, score, defend, but is he also seven feet, six, eight, six, nine? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people are saying, oh, it's a big man's league again. It's big man's league. I don't necessarily agree with that because I just feel like players in general are bigger now because that's kind of how they've been, you know, scouted. But besides that, I really don't think there is a shift back to a big man's league because I think it just has to do with the fact that Jokic is really good. And Embiid is really good. And Giannis is really good. Like, so if three players came in the next draft at Steph Curry's size and dominated the league like he did, everyone will go back to saying, oh, it's a, I don't, they're not even small, but you know what I mean, like a small player's league. And then if we had someone like Draymond, who obviously, obviously didn't invent small ball five, but he is one of the players who popularized it, you know, like because of the Warriors, everyone was trying to play small ball five. So if we had someone on a team who did what Draymond was doing again, you know, and he's like 22, so he is like, you know, 15 years left in his career, as opposed to Draymond, who will still has some years left in his game, but obviously he's closer to the end than the beginning, which is very sad to say. But the point is, like, 
If they had someone like that come in, then they'd be like, oh, you got to have a small ball five who can run as fast as this Draymond player, whoever the Draymond is, <laughs> you know, who could shoot like him and defend like him. But they have to be 6'5", because if they're 7'2", they're too slow. You know what I mean? Like, it just depends who's dominating in the league at the time. I personally don't think there's a shift back to a big man's league. I just think, like I said, it's because Jokic just won the MVP and he's a highly skilled big man. And obviously he's still in his prime, so he has some years left. So teams and players are looking to make sure that, you know, they don't lose it. <laughs> they don't lose to him again. So that's what they're focused on. Just like five years ago, even last year, because the Warriors won the title, obviously. But let's say four years ago, five years ago, when the Warriors were still, you know, on their dynastic run with KD and stuff like that. Players and teams were looking at how do we stop the Warriors? How do we stop the greatest shooting backcourt ever? How do we get a small ball five like Draymond? How do we keep up with them? So I feel like it just has to do with whoever is dominating at that time. Like whichever player is one of the most dominant players, that's what you try to stop. For me, it's not necessarily about a shift in like what the league is trying to do. And you know why that is? Well, like I said, Steph Curry is one of the players who revolutionized the game with his shooting. And that's not going away anytime soon. Scouts are looking at players who could shoot. And everybody who is seven feet is not going to be able to shoot. Like, we have to remember that these players who are the best of the best, like, a lot of players are not going to come in and be on that level. And that's okay. Everybody's not going to be an MVP in the league. Just because you're not an MVP does not mean you're not a good player. There are plenty of ways to contribute to your team in the NBA without being the best player in the NBA. So, like... I don't think we should bash people who are not the best, but I think we need to have a realistic expectation and opinion instead of just being like, well, there's one player, or I guess you could say the three, Jokic, Giannis, and Embiid, who are dominating, and now the entire league just has to change everything. No, teams will adjust and add maybe a big man who can, you know, uh, and not even stop them, but, you know, try to defend them better. But the league is not going away from a shooting league, and obviously shooting typically is easier for smaller players like the bigger you are the bigger your hands usually usually are and it's harder to like have that lateral quickness and be able to have a handle like Steph Curry obviously I keep saying Steph Curry because he's on the picture so but this applies to like a Kyrie Irving too and stuff like that Trey Young who obviously we know was leading the league in assists this year everybody is not going to be able to be able to pass like Jokic at his size so the point that everything I'm saying is, yes, there are some dominant big men in the league and there will always be some dominant, you know, players in the league at each size. It just depends who is dominating the most, what team is dominating the most, and how do you stop them or how do you try to stop them? So whichever team is the next to come on the rise, if they have a player who is like a 6'8 wing, how do you stop him? So that is how I feel about the situation.